we're doing our first record where, so the other week uh, I came, I stumbled across something on a highway that got me very, very excited. Uh, like I said, I didn't speed up. Uh, the car that was I was following slowed down, slowed down by so much that I was able to see it. And of course my girlfriend was in the car and she was leaning over me, taking those well angled shots. I know it looked like it was from my driver's seat. So absolutely would not do anything illegal like that. So it was my girlfriend, the car slowed down, all was above, but we've managed to track the guy down whose car it is. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Keegan. Yes. How you going? Yes. Yeah, good, mate. Great. So what did you think when an absolute psycho just started <laughs> swerving around you on a highway? Uh, I thought, what the hell is this bloke doing? And then I remember what I was driving and I sort of realised that <laughs> it was probably my car you were a bit excited about. So, Do you, do you get that reaction yeah. often? Uh, yeah, actually. Pretty <laughs> most, most, mostly from people in four-wheel drives, but... Yeah, but yeah, fair bit. But, because, because what I thought it was, and, I, and I'm wrong, and I've actually since might have to apologise to some people, because I thought the RTV was only in the AU Falcon, but that's looking at the sides, of, that's a BA, isn't it? Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the RTV was BABF. Ah. And this is, this is a BF wagon. Yep. But um, yeah, it's bits and pieces from... A lot of different Falcons, so... Uh, right, because I had to... Because yeah. I, the only one I saw previously was the AU that used to be the, the Ute that was jacked up to its tits, which was... Some, I can't yeah. even remember the model number. And I thought that was that car. And I was yeah. like, how has he put a bo AU... Bo uh, so a BA body on that? I was like, I've got to investigate. But you've got a full kit on this thing. Look at it. It's fucking wild. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's a bit different. <laughs> what have you done to it? Talk us through it. Yeah, so well, what, what? take us from the start. What made you want to fucking jack up a, uh, a BA, put a snorkel on it, and make it into an ultimate camping machine? Like, what Yeah. What? What was your childhood like, Keegan? <laughs> <laughs> Were you well, born a mad wasn't... dog or what, you know? Yeah, well, yeah, a little bit, yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't troubled or anything, if that's what I mean, but, um, no. <laughs> nah, it's just uh, all, all my mates started buying four-wheel drives and stuff like that, and I had a, a standard wagon. Mm -hmm. And then I remembered, I remembered about the RTVs, and I thought, oh, I could chuck everything in this. And pretty much the same day I thought of that, I saw another bloke that's done it over in Perth. He's done it with an AU wagon, actually. Yes, oh, and, um, yes, Perth yeah, again. And I, I saw that one, and I thought, yeah, I can do that. So <laughs> I made my own one. <laughs> but oh, how man. much time did that take you to do all that? Uh, oh, all up, it's, it's been since uh, I bought the wagon stock standard, I think, in February, I think. Oh, yeah. Around about then. So, but it's, yeah, little bits and pieces over the whole time. And so this, is, this, this, is, this is the third one that I've built. So I, yes, I sort of because... know what I'm doing now. I've been on your wow. website, Limmy Bashes, and you've got you've got an, you've already got an AU Falcon as well. Is that correct? Yeah, we've got two AU sedans. Yes, full respect. Um, That's our favourite yeah. car here at um, the, the, the the yeah the blue one's our big turbo. That's it's our burnout car, but we actually haven't had a chance to do any burnout comp contest with it yet. So give it but, time. Um, I'm just going to get that. I'm yeah. just going to get this up on the screen um, for those watching at home this this thing is an absolute weapon and what so are you, you're a mechanic by trade keegan or uh yeah all three of us are yeah oh right okay uh, so this is a bit yeah. of a what like three absolute madmen getting together yeah pretty much me and me and two blokes from work one of them's one of one's my long time good mate he the other two built that the blue one yeah so what so and talk us through that's this the turbo yeah that's uh just a Chinese special turbo, just um, <laughs> steam pipe manifolds and shit like that. So that's 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 a budget build. Oh, they're all pretty much budget builds. But Man, it looks like a fucking tractor. Yeah, yeah, and it's got the tractor flap on the top just to keep the water out. It reminds me of the water pumps of my dad's cotton farm that could pump yeah. like a million megalitres. It looks like you could just park <laughs> this thing near a dam and just pump. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you probably could if you really wanted to. <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. And so, man, w when you have you taken it on the dirt yet, this absolute machine? 
Yeah, the um, it's gone out through Lurdy Derg and Wombat and all that sort of stuff. So it's gone up some pretty muddy hills, which is a lot of fun. Mate, how did she and, go? Because uh, by the looks of that thing, that would eat fucking Land Cruisers for breakfast. It, it went it went pretty good. I did get stuck at one point, but um, my my mate Tylux got stuck at the same point as well. So, oh, that's yeah. great. Um, so yeah. I was I was pretty proud of that. Man, this is the funniest thing ever because you said you do get a lot of looks. You do get a lot of people, you know, talking to you about it. This is so funny because, like, idiots spend, like, 900 grand on a Porsche. And Porsche yeah. are pretty common these days, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or, or, or a nice Beamer or something. You've probably spent, I don't know, I don't know how much you put, 20 grand at the most or something on this thing. And yeah, not even some, that. <laughs> yeah, not even that. <laughs> and yeah. it probably gets more comments than any of those cars, which is hilarious. Yeah. My my missus said to me she didn't expect it to get as much as attention as it does. Yeah, but um, yeah, so we've been we've been pulled over we've been pulled over on the on the side of the road a couple of times to talk to some people who've been interested in it, and she's been stuck in the car for a bit. I, I, so. lo- I love the BA fucking scoop with the boss. <laughs> Has it got Boss two eighty or Boss two ninety on it? Uh, two two sixty. Yeah, well that's. Because nice. the the V8's the V8's sitting over there in the corner waiting to go in. So oh wow, fuck yes, yeah. man, yeah, this is so amazing. In, so what have you always uh, you, you your mates and you you've always been Ford guys? What turned you onto the Fords? Was it a, a, your dad or reliability or just that they're God's gift to machinery? A little bit of little bit of all of it, really. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. old the old man had a uh, an XC Fairmont, I think oh, from nice. new. Oh. Uh, Really? Yeah, that's and, um, oh god! Yeah, that was that was. I I wasn't around when he had that, unfortunately. But yeah. it would have been nice if he hung on to it. But he's not Fuck exactly a car guy. Dream. But uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, first car was an AU Ute, which was a weapon. Nice. And then and then got into the BAs and now the BFs. I had an FG, but that thing was a piece of shit. So <laughs> got rid of that. <laughs> but, um, Back to AU, mate. Just go always AUs. Mm. You can never go yeah. wrong. Um, yeah, exactly. Me and, me and Kappa, this, I mean, Bathurst, I think we're not sure if it's been cancelled or not, but we've decided either way we're fo- uh, hiring, we're, we're going to find an EB, EB under $1,000 and yeah. get on its last journey and drive it to Bathurst, do one lap around the fucking obstacle course or whatever the fuck around the outsides of it, and then set yeah. the light on fire and give it a Viking <laughs> burial. <laughs> I'd, I'd be up for that. Mate, yeah. I was gonna say we need a lift back, so you might be yeah. you might be invited. I yeah, mean, this is cool because no you're dramas. the you're the first me- like mechanic that's like a Ford buff that we've talked to. Uh, yep. Brett and I have had a huge argument about this. Will the EB ever be a classic? Do you reckon it'll be a classic? <laughs> He's saying Brett, the EB um, EB XR8 is going to go up in value. Like it, like it a, will. A, a, I'm U, telling a, you, U's, like all the classics, <laughs> like X well, yeah, Y's go up. Yeah, well, we're start we're starting to get like seriously high prices for like nice AUs now. So, okay, you know, working working backwards, you know, the EVs probably might, might have its time to shine. I don't know. <laughs> what was the one? What was the one before or after the EV? I think it was. Uh, uh, they had the EA. Yeah, it, um, the EA, EA, EB, ED, and, and it had the... into the E F. EF then EFs and ELs, yeah. Yeah, might have been. And EF. then it went AU. There. When it yeah. when they had the plastic radiator that would always overheat, like it was the worst radiator ever. Yeah, ra- radiators aren't Ford's strong suit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Turns out. <laughs> oh man, that's great. And what do you what do you so your face? We should give you a bit of a plug here. So you got your Facebook page, bloody also, uh, did, Limby did Bashes. An, did I see an XD on that page as well? Uh, down the bottom, like a red. I saw. I think I saw a red one. Oh, what? No? This thing? No, 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 no. no. That's it. That's <laughs> what the hell is that thing? It's like a panel van, four wheel drive. Yeah, that's that's, that's that's an R, that's an RTV. I, that was the only other one keep, parked in the keep, car park. Oh, keep, right. keep going down on the page. I think it was like an XD. There, I was like, I had some. I was like, what the fuck is that? So, man, I you could think, be wrong. Um, I think simsy has got an XF wagon. Oh yeah, that at might his, have been at his it. at his old man's shop, which is parked in the corner. So, oh okay, all right. Oh, right, right. Yeah, so I just I just got excited. I thought you had like an XD as well. I was like, mate, is there a what else do you need in life? You know? Yeah, I know. I know. Tra- I know. Trav wants to get an an X, or he had an XD Ute for a, 
15 minutes yeah. and pulled it apart and never touched it again. So he got rid of it. But um, I know he wants to get an XF ute. Mm-hmm. At some at some stage and drop a three fifty one in it and nice. go nice Great. and old school. Man, um, so when you're um, you got your Lemmy Bash's page. Is it to show people how to make your Ford into the ultimate four wheel drive machine? Is that your goal with your um page? Uh a little bit. It was more just sort of try and give the mighty Carmods boys a bit of a run for their money, but when they were near that yet, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, just, it's just, uh, it's just, a, just to show the stupid shit that we're into, really. Oh, that's mate. great. Keep it going, big, man. It's we're awesome. big fans of it, and we're big fans of you, mate. Just like to say, uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for joining us on Flat Stick for popping in and answering our questions. Uh, uh, much no worries, boys. Jump um, on at limmybashes dot com. Uh, is it limmybashes dot com as well? There's a website, or is it just the YouTube? Uh, we haven't got a website yet, but we do have the YouTube channel. Yeah. So, yeah, the YouTube's got all the videos with all the mods and things like that. So it's great. Yeah. I've had a watch of some of them, so get around it. Man, yeah, um, the, uh, that, there's, there's one of it on there going up that big muddy hill, which is which yeah. was a lot of fun. So. <laughs> um, for those playing at home as well, just how much of a mechanic Keegan is, he's drinking a Great Northern, which is <laughs> fucking... That is it's, classic. It's the, that o- is... it's the only way to, to fuel up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beer from up here, even though we're down here. That's exactly it's right. seven twenty-five PM. He's just knocked yep. off. Oh, that's he lost the day off, mate. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> oh, great work, mate! Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks so much for giving us your time, mate. Uh, Thanks cheers, for joining boys. us. All right, cheers. Mate. Cheers. See you. Bye. Cheers, boys. Hey, man. Thanks very much. Cheers. No, no worries, guys. Thanks for that. That was great, man. Um, yeah, so, man, once all lockdown is fucking done and dusted, if we could come down and check out the car and just do a yeah, little fucking thing, man. we fucking love this shit. So it's fucking wild, brother. Uh, no worries. We'll, um, we'll, after all lockdown and shit, we'll try and organise to have a, have a catch up with, with everything that we got. Oh, Fuck okay, yeah. So man. this, this, this should would... have the V8 in it by then and we'll, yes. we'll have the, the turbo AUs all done. The, um, the other one's getting a nitrous kit. So <laughs> we should have a lot, a lot of shit for you to come and have a look at. Oh man, and let us let us know if if anyone knows of a cheap EB going around. We would definitely. I'll, de- I'll, a- I'll definitely. I'll keep an eye out for you. Oh great! Thanks, man. Thank you so much, legend. Thanks, Thanks no so much. Have a good one. Thanks for joining us. Cheers, mate. No worries, boys. Have a good one.